here we have grape tomatoes and finally just starting to ripen here's a big beef tomato plant here you can see it has a lot of fruit on it but we covered up the fruit because the birds are getting in here and pecking every tomato we don't want that um, over here we have several varieties of cucumbers and these have been these are on the way out these have uh, been yeah. producing for weeks and weeks um we're getting ready to take them out we should mention that it is uh the end of july the second last week in july mm -hmm. so it is it's actually uh, 97 degrees out today we're in southeastern pennsylvania and we have not watered yet this evening. here are some more tomato plants and we were sent this bug netting and we found a more um more needed cause right now which is covering up these tomatoes and protecting them from the birds who are flying over our eight foot fence and just coming in here and pecking the entire tomato or sometimes even just half and wasting it letting them waste on the vine so we're finding that so far it is working and keeping the uh critters whether it's mice or whatever it is or birds off of the plants here we have a couple of our pickle bush cucumber plants still left they are also on the way out they uh produce uh, a couple a couple three gallon pickle buckets full of pickles already the rest of them are brining um so these plants should cut a couple weeks left on these here is an okra plant and we have a couple of them sporadically located because they get kind of tall like sunflowers so we thought maybe to spread them out and they'll get light here is should be pan up here this is our kiwi vine it is also about five years old um, waiting for it to produce kiwi hopefully it does soon it's supposed to be an uh, auto flower self germinating uh, here we have our jalapeno plants as you can see we have a ton that are coming in I'll pick them for you down here beautiful jalapeno nice we have more okras growing back here we uh there's also a video link below where we build this here um cattle fence um both cattle fence arbor and the lattice uh, lattice work to hold up any kind of climbing vegetables we had snow peas on there up until about last week we got rid of the snow peas here is our second peach tree here we have what is now very overgrown squash and zucchini plants uh, both yellow and green varieties. Um, here's one that right here forming right now. And I believe that, other than taking those little bugs out of here, I believe that these flowers are also edible, just like with the pumpkin flowers, right? Yes, you can toss them in some olive oil and salt and pepper, make some vinegar, what else you want? Batter and fry them. Here we have just sage growing in a pot. And then a little uh, topiary, a little bonsai here. We have a, my, white, my white pine bonsai and my juniper bonsai. And here is the greenhouse. Well, the workshop isn't being used as much now, so now we're made use of some extra growing space. It's a little overgrown right now humidity is insane it's very humid out today also we have a video linked below on how to build this string bean trellis this one's about six feet tall string beans are going to be forming very soon it's a couple of random sporadic ones if i was looking there but not yet soon enough all right, in this row we have some bell peppers. I believe that's an orange variety. So it'll turn from green to orange soon when they're ripe. Then we have these lunchbox oranges. And over here we have an eggplant. Let me zoom in there, I'll show you. There's our first eggplant right there. Something, I don't know if something is biting that or what. Stupid lantern flies are everywhere. And when they get mature, look at them, they're everywhere. They turn red. And they're on everything, the whole entire yard. 
has them everywhere. They're a real nuisance these days. You try sp natural sprays. What are you using there, Mom? Tell, tell everybody what you're using. I'm using Dawn dish detergent, vinegar, and water. Apparently that takes care of them. But they jump so quickly, they're very hard to even get a spray on them. Yeah, the best thing we found is that if you use like one hand to distract them, and you come from behind, you can actually you can actually get them. Other than that, they they're they're really quick. Yeah. Moving on, here is some more peppers we have. Other varieties, like lemon peppers. There is Thai, more Thai chilies. There is some pepperoncinis. This guy is ready to go. Another beautiful pepper. That one is a sweet blend. It's just a sweet pepper blend. Here's some cucumbers warming. Like I said, it's late, it's late in the game, so they're not like the they're not like the best looking ones, but these are our peace trees we uh, grew from seed about what was it five six years ago. yeah five years ago and they we did if you watched the other video link down below we whacked it back like we pruned it way down it was only like maybe like six to eight feet high when we pruned it down pretty yeah and we chopped it down real low in the early spring and it already came back full force also check out the video on how to build this whole garden here how we built everything from this eight foot deer fence the arbor trellis, uh, the trellises, the arbor gates, and the greenhouse. How to how to build garden beds. Here we are in the process of still laying out our new pavers, and we're filling them in with river rock, tiny ones, so it makes it look cleaner in here and easier to work in. And videos this awesome guy. This is Apollo the Husky. You can follow him on Instagram at official Apollo the Husky. Right, Apollo? He's really hot right now because I said it's 90 something degrees out, so he's a little quiet. And look, this other one, he's been here all day long. He just hangs on the return pipe. <laughs> That's his spot to chill at. And these guys just chill right here. Usually they're on the thing and they're like sunning. Make it sleep. Here's our banana plant. Various herbs, mints. Here we have our olive tree. Here's some cannas. This olive tree has to come in over the winter because it's not native to this climate. It's getting burned from the uh, hose water. Here are our avocado trees, also not native to this area. We, uh, some of them is grown for fun. We have like a couple of them in one pot. This one over here on the back. This one is turning into like a tree stem. Whereas the younger ones, they're still green. This one's brown and becoming a real tree. An adult tree. We just whacked it back at the beginning of the season. And as you can see, it grew new shoots.
say it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. 